Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this video, we will learn about box selection in Visual Studio. Now let's see what is box selection. This is my Visual Studio. There is a simple program written over here. This is a basic console application. So ideally when we select some text, it is selected like this. We keep hold of left mouse button and we just drag the mouse. This is how we select the text. In case of box selection, we select the text in the form of a box. Like I am selecting this in a rectangular form. So now this area is selected with the help of box selection. Let's see how it's get copied. I am copying it to notepad. See only the selected area that was in the form of box is now copied here. So that's the beauty of box selection. Now let's see how we can do wonders with it. Using box selection we can do multiple things. Now let's see how exactly we can do the box selection thing. Is it a very tricky thing? No it is not. While the normal selection is done just, just holding the left mouse button. If you want to box select something, you need to hold alt key from the keyboard and then do the usual stuff. Now when you will select the text, it will be selected like this. Try it out in your system, it will be selected like this. So wherever you will stop it, that particular area will be selected. It's pretty easy to use this feature. This can also be done using keyboard. Normally when we select some text, we hold shift key and then use arrow keys just to select the text normally. But if you want to box select something, we need to press alt and shift key together then press the arrow keys. See, it's now selected in box form, rectangular form. You can use arrow keys just to select your area, desired area. So now, let's see where we can use this box feature. Suppose I want to copy this 1, 2, 3, 4, this range. I'll select this and I copy this. And if I paste in a notepad, it will appear like this. If, uh, or maybe I can copy this stuff after these zeros. See? Now, suppose I'm going to select an empty line, empty box, I would say, in front of these variable names. I'm doing it using keyboard by pressing Alt, Shift and just down arrow key. No left or right key, just down arrow key. As you can see, this has generated a very thin line of blue color. Let me zoom it out for you. This is actually a box with zero width, I would say. Now, suppose we want to append M underscore. We just type M underscore. So this particular text that we have entered it will be appended to all the variable name because of the box selection. We can use backspace, we can type anything, it will just type for all the lines because we have box selected that area. So now if I want to just keep it that way, M underscore, so this is it. Also if, let's suppose if we had this variable as double and we wanted all of these to be double. So there could be one way that we manually change all of these to double, like one by one. Or we can just copy this text double and then we will box select this area and we'll just use paste. See that double text that we have copied earlier is now copied to all the box selected text. Suppose now if I want to just console dot write line all the variable values. I need to write like this console dot write line underscore one like this and one by one I have to write for all the variables. Now instead of doing this, I can save my effort. I would give some space and how many are these? One, two, three, four. These are nine. So I would box select 9 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'll start typing, console dot write line 
m underscore variable i will just close it right away now what's the problem there are two problems first of all this right line is not identified by the c sharp compiler because we need a capitalized l and i have just written uh, small caps l so i will just box like this and i will just capitalize just by typing capital l it got changed yes and now for these variables i need these indexes so i will just copy these copy and box select this area and paste see it's simple it's uh, effort saving so you can use this box selection feature in visual studio and you can save some effort of yours so that's all about box selection in visual studio this feature was introduced from visual studio 2010 so this is not something new but it's good to know if you don't know about this you should use it i personally use it so much uh, i'm kind of lazy guy so that's all about box selection so if you have any query just shoot them up over to us and we'll be happy to help so see you next time till then subscribe to our channel thanks for watching